Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining. This time, this time we are covering a video on equity link notes. Previous to that we covered a video about credit link notes when there was a there was a risk of trade default. Of course the risk of trade default is still here but uh, this time we are covering about equity link notes. Now what is equity link notes is, suppose uh, first of all let me tell you what is equity link notes. The general perception, uh, like in the case of credit, credit link notes, I uh, repeated that, uh, in, I stated that, now I'm going to repeat that. The general perception in, the, in, the, in Indian markets is that if you are having a bond instrument, anything, it could be a bond, it could be a note, it could be a medium term notes. If you are having a bond instrument and whatever yield they are offering you, this is final. If the market yield is greater, no point. If the market yield is less, you are lucky. As simple as that. Now the point is very simple, equity link instrument is again a kind of instrument but here the scene is little different. Here the scene we are, we are, it is not we are converting a floating liability to a fixed liability. It is that we are converting, uh, we are uh, doing a bet on an equity instrument but this bet is dependent upon a strike rate. So the mechanics of uh, credit link instrument and equity, equity link instrument both differ. But this mechanism values, right? Now take an example. Suppose you have an equity equity link buyer who is Westpac, who's from or again an Australian bank, and here you have ANZ Sydney, which is again. So assuming they are betting on a an American company which is Microsoft, and Microsoft is having a note whose current value is 105k. 105k means 105 thousand dollars. And assuming this strike rate agreed is 100 and here I am taking at the money strike. So they are taking at the money strike. Again the principle of moneyness matters here as well. Assuming the dy, dy stands for uh, dividend yield. The dividend yield is 3.5%. Okay. Now there are four scenarios on maturity. Of course on maturity. In this Westpac would like to increase his income but he is betting just like an option. He is betting just like an option, right? So Westpac would like to increase in income. Suppose on, on scenario 1, if on the final scenario 1, the final price, means, means on maturity, is greater than the strike rate. Assuming the final price was 108, 109, or 110, anything greater, greater than 100, then he would be getting the complete price 105K, right? Let me write 105K plus the dividend income which is 3.5% on 105k whatever he is this is roughly 3.8 million something which is he will get so total he would be getting 109 million something scenario 2 if it is greater than if it, if it is equals to strike price if it is equals to strike price then we are going to divide this with the strike 105k divided by 100 plus 3.5% this is the total kind of this is the total shares or notes or bonds they are going to be get because this is kind 105k divided by 100 plus 3.5 percent if it is less than strike price this remains intact 105k divided by 100 plus the dividend yield is going to be adjusted accordingly and that formula matters that formula varies from bank to bank here we are talking about Westpac versus ANZ if we are talking about Goldman Sachs versus Credit Suisse, if we are talking about HSBC versus Bank of America, Cities, City versus Deutsche, so these all will matter. This dividend, this adjusted dividend yield formula matters. At the end, here it is to an extent similar like credit link notes. If it defaults, of course, apparently we have taken an example of a Microsoft and Microsoft will never default, but who knows that suppose it defaults, then forget your investments. As simple as that. In that sense, ANZ Sydney is not responsible for neither the payment of the note nor not, not as a dividend. This is a very very important concept. In the sense like, I repeat, rather than holding a bond and earning a dividend, so what he is doing, he is entering into four scenarios. Scenario number one, if the final price is greater than the strike price, if the final price is equal to strike price, if the final price is less than strike price, fourth is if it defaults, right? Do not forget that equity link investment have a participation ratio of 100%. Why 100%? Because in all the cases, I am again and again referring 105k completely. I am not referring that it could be 80% of that or it could be 90% of that, probably 95% of that. That participation I am not referring to, right? 
henceforth it is 100%. In case of participation, that varies from bank to bank and this is known as structured equity link notes, S-L-S-E-L-N, which is S structured equity link notes. And this time we are talking about equity link notes. Believe me that credit derivatives play a very important role. In fact, we are here after this as a credit derivative, but <coughs> technically this is a fixed income derivative. Fixed income derivative play a very important role. Like in case of uh, credit link notes, in case of equity link notes, we have one more kind which is gold link notes. Unfortunately, we don't have that market in India. Such thing play a very important role in the markets and this will increase the increase your investments. There's a lot of skepticism we have in the market which suggests that you know, it is very difficult to understand these notes. People don't know about that. Of course, there are forums which are here to protect you like ISDA, International Swaps and Derivative Association and variety of, and, uh, a variety of others. So you need to protect yourself accordingly. You need to understand these things and here you would be able to increase your value. These things will never decrease the value. They will always increase the value. This is what the purpose of, of this video, which is credit link notes, which is credit derivative equity link notes. Don't forget that participation ratio is always 100%. In case you have any question, you are welcome to contact us at www.treasuryconsulting.in. My mobile is 9899242978. Skype ID is Rahul5327. And my email ID is rahul.makan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. Don't forget that we are coming up with our fixed income terminal, which would be first of kind terminal, which we are launching. In this, we, this would be SaaS enabled, software as a service, this would be PaaS enabled, platform as a service, and this could be IS enabled, infrastructure as a service. This is going to be 100% technical and 100% uh, technological ori oriented platform, first of kind in Asia. We are starting the designing in May and hopefully it will take us one year for that. We are expecting by April 2018, we would be able to make this platform. And by September 2017, we are planning to show to complete the designing part of it. Of course, this uh, this deadline is not uh, sure. This is not fixed. It depends how much we are doing. So see you soon. Thank you.